Hi guys, Mary here. I have a May Day message from your spirit guides for whenever it is that you see this video. So we're going to do oracle cards only and let's see what your guides have to say. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I feel like most of the subscribers um, get uh, messages more clearly. So um, if you subscribe to the channel, it might, um, you might get a, a more individual message. Okay, so the first card up is the Hermit card. And we had this card just a couple days ago. Um, and it's about really reflecting on where you are now and where you're going. So take time out for reflection. And then we have heart opening. So you want to stay in your heart. You want to breathe in and out of your heart. Especially if you're in um, a situation that is annoying or something like that, just try to stay in your heart center, okay? Many, many people are waking up on the planet and going through this ascension process, and their hearts are opening. Um, so keep your heart open. And then we have Archangel Michael. So he is the great protector. He's an archangel um, who has an army with him. He has his sword and his shield. So he's the protector. It says, thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. So if you're in a, a situation that is troubling you, just call an archangel Michael. He will come in and help. I remember bringing him in during the hurricane that we had uh, I don't even remember when that was. It was maybe four years ago, something like that. Um, but yeah. Okay, and then we have the miracle of forgiveness. This is Archangel Jeremiah. And so if there's someone that you need to forgive, um, it doesn't have to be about that person. It's just really letting go of, of the stuff that you're holding in that, that can really block you from moving forward. It says, thank you, Jeremiah, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. And you guys know I talk a lot about the Ho'oponopono prayer of forgiveness. It's, it's a really great way to, you know, if you do it every day for um, like two weeks straight, it really, really helps. I use that a lot. Okay. There's some good ones on YouTube that you can... Um, search for. Just find one that resonates with you. Okay, we'll do a couple of these. I have, since I moved, I found a lot of my decks that I, I haven't really used very often. I, I bought them and I didn't, <laughs> I just kind of stick with the same old, same old, but um, this is Ant, Antikarina. Antikarina. Can you see that? The lighting's weird in this room. I have to figure it out. Um, it says, crossing the rainbow bridge, resurrection, and coming full circle. So many of you are probably getting to know your spiritual gifts, and um, you may be trying to connect with source, and you can imagine like a rainbow bridge. Also, that's, um, that's how I imagine people when I, I help cross over souls that haven't crossed over yet. Um, I imagine that rainbow bridge. That's a bridge to source. And you can just kind of imagine it in your mind when you're meditating and connecting with source energy. And then we have inner oracle. You are the channel. You are the channel. So um, everyone has the gift of uh, the sixth sense. Everyone has the gift to connect with source or spirit. Um, you just have to be quiet and, you know, do the practice daily. Um, but you are your own inner oracle. So all of all of the knowledge is, is within you and it's in your heart. And you just have to go into your heart um, to get answers to, um, to any situation that you're in. I know that um, <clears throat> if you pay attention to your thoughts, you might realize that you're, you're telling yourself, um, thoughts that are negative and remember that that can be a self-fulfilling prophecy so um, you want to be careful because we're manifesting whether you know it or not and if you're thinking 
I'm not saying you should never have a negative thought. I'm just, I'm just saying if you're, <clears throat> excuse me, constantly talking to yourself and maybe putting yourself down, I, I'm guilty of that. Um, just, just try to be aware of it and stop it in its tracks and then turn it around. Okay, so we have, oh, this is nice. Okay, we have love. So um, I feel like spirit is telling us to stay in love and stay in our hearts, um, not go into fear, even though there's there's much distraction um, in the world right now. In the 3D world, there's a lot of distraction. So try to stay out of that. I know I, I sound like a broken record, but... <laughs> and then we have air chalice. So this is a new beginning. So it could be that some of you are meeting a soulmate or a romantic partner who is an air sign, that would be Gemini, Libra, or um, Gemini, Libra, oh my gosh, I'm so out of practice, you guys, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, <laughs> um, but usually the, the cup or the chalice is like a new start or a new beginning, so you could have a new love coming in for some of you, for others of you, it's a new start, um, and it's air energy, so it's intellectual. So it could be um, new start intellectually. So that could be a new job, a new uh, career. Maybe you're going back to school, something like that. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what else. What else do we have? Viewers. By the book and the tribe. So pay attention to how you're doing things. Pay attention to if you're signing any contracts or anything of that nature, really read the fine print. Um, if you are composing something, make sure that you dot your I's, cross your T's. Make sure that you um, look at the small details, uh, not just the idea, but do it uh, by the book. <laughs> and then we have the tribe. So this is about, um, for me, this is about bringing in new people into your life that you resonate better with or that are in more of a higher vibration. Um, and you may have lost some friends along the way. Um, people that you no longer resonated with. Um, just know that your tribe will come in. You'll be like a magnet for people with a higher vibration. Okay. I'm actually meeting some new people. I just moved down the street. <laughs> but it's um, there's people here that I've never met before um, in the townhome. Okay, so you're making steady progress. Don't give up now. I know it feels like, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes the energy to me feels like I'm walking through mud. But then sometimes the energy feels like um, everything's going really fast. So it's kind of, it's, it's, it can feel like you're not making progress, but you are. Okay, just remember, you know, like the turtle and the hare. Um, slow and steady wins the race. And then we have shower of abundance. So be grateful for the things that are coming your way or the things that are about to come your way. I feel like whatever it is that you're, you're starting new is going to bring abundance into your life. Okay, let me do a couple more. Not just financial abundance, but abundance of people around you, your tribe, abundance of um, emotional satisfaction, passion for what it is that you're doing. You know, when we follow our passion, that creates abundance in our lives. Okay, and then we have traveler. So it could be some of you are traveling or moving, moving homes, um, but also this is a card of Maybe you're at a crossroads and you normally would go to the left, but you're going to choose to go to the right. And people around you might not understand the choices that you're making, but that's okay because you're making the choices for yourself, not for anyone else. So pay attention to your intuition, your inner knowing, and um, abundance is coming in and joy and happiness with the sun card. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and share. 
I'd love a comment if you resonate. And um, I want to thank you all for your donations. I was really pleasantly surprised um, the last couple of days, so I really appreciate it. All right, take care, guys. Namaste.